I'm going to be defining her crease. We're going to be using a bulleted brush like this. This brush enables you to get into the crease really easily. The natural crease of the eye is the fold you'll see right here under the brow bone. So when you put a slightly darker shade in there, it contours the eye. And also, if you'll open for me, it'll bring the eyelid out more. So we're going to be using a copper shade to define our crease. So we're going to be taking our bulleted brush. We're almost going to be working in a windshield wiper motion to define the crease. And we're just going to blend it up to the brow bone. So we're going to blend windshield wiper motion in the crease and just blend it up and out on the outer corner up to the brow bone. If you open for me. Having a brush like this enables you to get into that crease really easily, enables you to blend really easily. It shouldn't look like you have like a real dark streak going through the crease of the eye. It should all blend together and just look like it's a slightly darker shadow. So it's contouring the eye and bringing out the lid. You want to think in terms, whenever you're doing makeup, a darker color will minimize any imperfections and also recedes. A lighter color enhances. So that's a really great way that you can do corrective makeup on yourself. If you have a, more of a saggy or crepey lid, you can put a darker color wherever the crepe begins and that helps to minimize the appearance of that. You can see that just contoured the eye and brought her lid out a little bit more and added a little bit of a soft, smoky look.